What if megalodon sharks never went extinct? Imagine diving into the ocean, blissfully unaware of what lurks beneath, only to realize that there could be a predator twice the size of a T-Rex swimming silently below you. A creature with jaws powerful enough to crush cars and a mouth wide enough to swallow several humans in one gulp. This ancient predator, the megalodon shark, ruled the oceans millions of years ago. But what if, just what if, it never went extinct? How would our world, and particularly our oceans, be different? What would it mean for us, for marine life, and for the ecosystems that balance our planet? Let's dive into this intriguing thought experiment and explore what life might look like if megalodon sharks were still prowling the seas. First, let's talk about size. The megalodon wasn't just big, it was colossal. Measuring anywhere between 10 to 18 metres in length, longer than a school bus, it was the undisputed king of the ocean. This was a predator so massive that it hunted whales, snatching them up like a great white grab seals today. Imagine that. An animal the size of a bus, with a bite force strong enough to split a whale in half. If megalodons were still around, the ocean would be a much more dangerous place for anything that swims, including us. Now, you might have heard rumours floating around the internet. Some claim that megalodons are still out there, hiding in the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean. Places like the Mariana Trench. But let's be real for a moment. Megalodons were warm water creatures, thriving in tropical seas. The freezing temperatures of the deep ocean would be as foreign to them as Antarctica is to a lion. If they were still around, we wouldn't have to wonder. We'd see the evidence, clear as day. For one, there'd be telltale bite marks on the bodies of whales and large fish. These predators weren't subtle. Their teeth were the size of human hands, and their bite could leave massive scars on anything they hunted. But we haven't found any of those signs, and the only remnants we have are fossilised teeth. And those teeth? We've found a lot of them, but nothing that suggests megalodons survived beyond their extinction about two million years ago. But let's say, for argument's sake, they did survive. How would their presence change our world today? For one, marine ecosystems would look very different. Megalodons ate about 1,100 kilograms of food a day. That's more than a ton of fish, dolphins, seals, and even whales, every single day. If these giant predators were still roaming our seas, they'd be eating so much that many of the large fish species we rely on for food would be severely depleted fishing industries would struggle to compete with such an insatiable predator. Imagine megalodons tracking fishing boats, waiting to snatch up whatever catch we'd hauled in, much like killer whales sometimes do today. That would make commercial fishing not only difficult, but downright dangerous. And it wouldn't just be the fishing industry feeling the heat. With oceans warming up again, megalodons would likely thrive and reproduce, increasing their numbers. More of these giant predators in the water would pose a threat to maritime shipping and even cruise ships. Today, sharks rarely pose a real danger to large vessels. But with a predator the size of megalodon, no ship would be completely safe. We're talking about an animal that could damage or even sink smaller boats with a single bite. Now imagine the fear this would strike into beachgoers. Megalodons gave birth in warm, shallow waters the same kind of waters where people love to swim and surf today. A casual day at the beach could quickly turn into a life-or-death situation. That picturesque family, vacation in the tropics, it would come with a hefty dose of caution and fear. Now, it's not just the danger to humans that would make a megalodon-filled world complicated. The existence of such a dominant predator would ripple through marine ecosystems in ways we might not fully understand. When top predators like sharks are removed from ecosystems, it often causes a cascade of effects, altering the populations of other marine animals. But what if we added an apex predator like megalodon back into the mix? It would likely reduce the number of large fish and marine mammals, throwing off the balance of many ecosystems. Other predators, like orcas or great whites, would have to compete with megalodon for food, and some species might not survive that competition the ocean would be a far more dangerous and competitive place for all marine life. 
And it gets even more interesting when we consider the possibilities of human impact on megalodons. Would we hunt them? Given our history, it's likely we would. Just as we've decimated populations of whales and other large marine animals in the past, the sheer size and threat of megalodon would make it a target. Picture this. A world where fishing fleets aren't just trawling for tuna, but hunting massive megalodons to protect their livelihoods. Imagine conservation efforts trying to protect these giant creatures while simultaneously dealing with the dangers they pose. The ethical dilemmas would be endless. Of course, a world with megalodons would also fuel our fascination with the deep, dark unknown. Just as people today are obsessed with spotting great whites, a living megalodon would likely dominate popular culture. Every diver, every scientist and every thrill seeker would be obsessed with catching a glimpse of this ancient beast. The tourism industry would capitalise on this, offering safe cage dives, while documentaries and media would explore every inch of the ocean in hopes of uncovering more about these elusive giants. The truth is though, megalodons had their time, and it's a good thing they're not around today. Their extinction, likely due to changes in ocean temperatures and competition for food, paved the way for the marine ecosystems we know today. But it's thrilling to imagine, isn't it? A world where this ancient predator still reigns supreme in the oceans. Would you dare to venture into the water if you knew something that large and that powerful could be lurking beneath you? It's a question that reminds us of just how vast and mysterious our oceans really are and how lucky we might be that some creatures, no matter how fascinating, have stayed in the pages of prehistory.